Next question is from RC Legs. Is working out barefoot a good idea? Is there any preparation that needs to be done before doing so? Oh, definitely. Yeah, working out barefoot is a great idea. However, if you never are barefoot and you never work out barefoot, just taking your shoes off and going and doing it barefoot, you're probably going to cause problems because Mm -hmm. you've adapted to your shoes, you've developed biomechanics based on your shoes, and going out and loading yourself with your bare feet, your feet are probably weak, they don't move well, they're probably not very stable, and then you'll cause some problems. So you want to slowly ease yourself into barefoot training. So what it looks like is you drop the load way down, maybe do half your workout barefoot or some exercises barefoot. Maybe get minimus type shoes, so just yeah. like reduce the sole or like, you know, get something that's a little more flat and flexible. Uh, yeah, there's you got to look at it in incremental uh, ways to, to address this, to, to really bring yourself down to that uh, place where you feel like you're stabilized properly. So even just the very first step of taking your shoes off when you get home and walking around the house barefoot uh, more consistently before you start mm-hmm. loading them with weight would be a good start. That, and that's how I started. So we we, I mean, we talked a lot about barefoot training early on in the podcast, um, and I really had never, I had never done it, never prioritized it, and I really didn't see the the importance of it until we had met uh, Doctor Brink. We hung out, and is I want to see what his toes are doing. You can see his left toe is worse than his right toe. He he's going to pronate a little bit more on his left side versus his right side. So that means his foot's flattening. His foot is flattening, correct? Okay. So, yeah, so he's going to create a little internal rotation of this entire left leg a little bit more on his right side. So this may affect him when he's wanting to run if he was to run or just basic walking, squatting, you know, any motion that's going to create movement through the hip is now going to cause some of those issues. Makes perfect sense. It all starts from the ground up. I saw that a lot of my dysfunction was stemming from my weak ass feet and poor ankle mobility. <laughs> weak ass feet. Yeah, that's a, I had weak <laughs> ass like feet weak and ass I had poor, yeah, poor ankle mobility. <laughs> And so that complete, I mean, it, sh- it shattered my paradigm. And then from that moment on, I decided, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to strengthen my feet. I'm going to work on my ankle mobility. And what that looked like was not me right away going barefoot and then doing my regular workout all barefoot. It started with me just walking outside every day for 10. So I walked Mozzie and well, Bentley back then twice a day. And I would just take, I would do it barefoot now. I never used to do that before. And so I'd just start by a 10 minute walk twice a day walking barefoot and then I started working on the ankle mobility because here's the thing too you got to keep in mind probably one of the more limiting factors with, with working out barefoot is squatting right so doing anything where you have to drop down into a squat most people have limited ankle mobility and the the, the heel rise helps us all out so it, and depending on how thick of shoes that you wear when you squat down it, it and you are barefoot, mm-hmm. you you got to have really good ankle mobility in order for you to get all the way down into a full squat. Otherwise, you're going to see a, a deviation. Most likely, you'll start to see the feet start to collapse, mm-hmm. collapse inward. So if you notice that, then don't just work out through that. You need to address uh, the issue, which is the, the the lack of ankle mobility and then the strengthening of the feet. So. Uh, the other thing I'd start to do is, you know, <clears throat> waking up. There's like, what seven thousand nerves that, that that end up in our er, meet in our feet, and so before I'd start even going on walks or training them, I'd roll on a, on a lacrosse ball and I'd, I'd put the lacrosse ball in the center and I'd try and articulate my toes and kind of wake up all those muscles that are in your feet before you go in and like lift heavy weight on them. So progress slowly and make it a habit every single day and then you can start to progress it into your work. Yeah, we really don't we really need to understand that uh, so much of what we do is based off of our body's ability to do those things and if you if you don't ever do it you don't have the ability and you need to respect that. You know, there was that book that came out I don't know how long ago, it was 15 years ago and it was like this barefoot running book and it like mm-hmm. it took the running world by storm, right? This guy went and studied these cultures that ran all the time. So there was like this- Born to run? I think that might've been it, right? And he watched them run and all these cultures, he was in Ethiopia and he was in different parts of the world and he's watching them run and they're running up until they're in their Mm seventies, but they run all the time since they're kids and they're all barefoot. And he, he filmed- how the foot struck the ground and moved. And he realized that when these people ran, because they ran barefoot, they struck the ground four foot first and then mm-hmm. heel. So like mm-hmm. the ankle and the foot is this big shock absorber. When we run with big padded heel, you know, running shoes, we, we go heel first. So yeah. we lose the shock absorbing effect of the foot and the ankle. So he wrote this big thing and said, oh my God, running barefoot's the way to go. It's the way we were supposed to run. 
So a bunch of people are like beautiful, threw their shoes away, went running barefoot, ended up with a lot of <laughs> injuries hurt, yeah. Yeah. and problems because they never run that way. So right, right. you got to respect it and take your time. But once you get there, then it's pretty amazing. Yeah.